So all these students in the new fire hall marched over from Diamond Jeunesse Secondary School to show their support for the local biathlete, Brendan Green. They're not just chanting for him though, they're also chanting for all of the NWT and all of Canada. It's not just these students that are showing their support for Green, it's also some of the local businesses. In the next Olympics, I want to be able to go around the corner and continue to add northern kids to it. With the rally happening inside the fire hall, Wally Schumann wanted to say something on the outside. A history of Olympians from the present and past. There's actually five members of that team from the Northwest Territories, and they're all from Anuvik. And, of course, to support our current northern stars. It's uh, awe-inspiring just for myself, but I think for all northerners, and the youth of the NWT to see what you could accomplish even though you're from a small community in a remote place of the world. And while the Canadians were taking to the big stage in Sochi all dressed in red, some arts and crafts were going on inside this local shop to help make the town a little greener. Why a tie? Yes, we we're wearing ties because it's a workwear store and a tie is an important piece of workwear. And supporters inside the rally are sending their support to Sochi. I want Brendan to win. When he sees us, we get him pumped up, and he hopefully wins gold for Hay River and Canada. He knows that we're uh, we're on side, and he's got the message. So I think this really underlines it in green. Even the Anukshuk in town is showing its support. So I've made sure to get my Green Day swag. I'm wearing green, and also have this team green button. Tomorrow morning, the community will come together again to watch Brendan Green race in his first race, the 10-kilometer sprint. Jacob Barker, CBC News, Hay River.